What's good, A and B fam? It's your girl Asia, and it's your boy BJ, and, and we back, back like we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for tuning back in. Yeah. Appreciate y'all for pulling back up. Go ahead and catch a seat. It's time to chillax. We're jumping into episodes nine and ten. Yeah, and you know, from my last recollection about AJ, like AJ, I felt like right now him being like a like a teenager, like he lost right now. Um, because you know Tony, he busy. He always in and out. He's always in and out. So. He, I feel like with him not spending as much time with AJ earlier on, when AJ was young, I feel like now you're seeing the rebellious AJ like come out. Because now he's dibbling yeah. down with the drugs. He's like hanging around, uh, hanging out in the clubs. Definitely with the wrong crowd of people. Like he's... Seems like he don't have no himself. direction. Yeah. And, 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 and if anything, if, if, he, if he does have a direction, his direction is going in like a, a, a downward spiral. And it's just weird and it's just crazy to see him going into a downward spiral yeah. this this young. I would have to agree, but it seems like like we've Especially been seeing, what he doing. like early signs of that like early on. You know what I mean? Like he he it just seems like he was already like getting into all of that mess like very early on. Even as far back as like, you know, like starting to in season one. First couple of seasons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. I feel like I could probably see that in him from then just by the things that he was getting into. Like all the wrong decisions. Yeah, and, and I feel like these last couple of episodes, I feel like that's like been the highlight so far regarding like the last couple of episodes. It's like uh, the evolution, the changing of AJ's character, mm-hmm. him growing, getting older, and you're starting to see that he's like a younger Tony. So everything that he's doing, the outbursts, uh, like I said, the rebelliousness, yep. uh, just being a rebel, like I said, he's just like a younger version of Tony. And he's really just taking uh, after Tony. It's like he's, he's cut from that cloth. Yeah. You know, so, so like I said, you're starting to see that right now, especially yeah. like with the drugs. He tried to kill Junior. It just sucks because Tony does so much, you know, for his family. Not to say Tony's a saint, okay? Mm-hmm. But he does so much for them. It's almost like, you know, like he is the parent that wanted their kids to have everything so that they wouldn't be the troublemaker, the drug person, like the drug, like to get into the drugs and get in. It's like. Yeah, it's flying around. I just saw it. (laughs) (laughs) I knew you was about to do that. Y'all, we got this, we got this net flying around her, just flying around her crazy. Oh my gosh. Not not to mention we live in Texas and, and the heat is just crazy. So the mosquitoes, the bugs, the flies are outside. This oh, time of year. Babe, did I get it? Is it on my head? I felt something. No. Oh, okay. When I went to go get the dogs. And even if day, you killed it and smashed it on your head, I still would sit here and say, <laughs> No, it ain't on your head. It ain't on you. I'm gonna get it. You know what Look, I mean? I'm gonna get his ass, sea bass, okay? <laughs> Just know. I'm coming for him. Okay, so if y'all see me swap this. By the end of this episode, Asia's gonna catch that net. I'm trying to I'm tell you. Gonna- because okay. he is relentless today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, but yo, without any further ado, you ready? <laughs> yeah, this night got us all off track. Okay, yeah. let's go. Woke up this morning. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Woke up this morning. Got myself a. <laughs> <laughs> No. I love that intro, man. Y'all yeah, know I can't dance. Don't laugh. That song is dope. I am Michael. Live or die. Make your choice. What the fuck you doing in there? Who is she? I'm gonna miss the previews. A good question. I'm pregnant. Oh. 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 I, I thought we were okay. I was due for my period. Stop. I'll call the clinic tomorrow. Stop talking. Let's get married. What? what? Wait a minute. I'll drive to AC, make a day out of it. Are you serious? Christy, I love you. Wait a minute. 
Oh, man. You think he ready to get married? And who is she? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm still trying to... Wow. Boy, what is Adriana thinking right now? Um, <laughs> she's not thinking anything right now. <laughs> Mr. Gautieri, I'm Father Jose. I'm Mr. Gautieri. Where's Father Felix? Oh, unfortunately, he's ill. He asked me to fill in. So, the Feast of St. Nazir. All said and done, you get your rent. About that. Frankly, $10,000 struck me as quite low. It is what it is. Shit, $10,000. 10 grand. We feel 50,000 would be a more equitable donation. 50? Just this year, we started a soup kitchen for the homeless. You think this feast pays for itself? Security, electric, sanitation. A couple of days, Joe Vella from the Honor Guide will be by with the floor. Pick up the hat and other stuff. Frankly, I don't feel safe giving it over this year. We use it every year. Given the tenor of this conversation, I sense there's a possible criminal element in this neighborhood. <laughs> But for 50 grand, you wouldn't have that sense. It would demonstrate to me that you take this feast seriously. Okay, Father. Nice meeting you. Fuck the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Paulie, man. <laughs> All right. Just a minute, I wanted to see. I gotta go down to Pennsylvania and I'm gonna need backup. Fuck you, good anyway. Oh, he went in. He got it. He did it. What the fuck brought this on? Visit from the store coming up. Oh. <laughs> you never heard of pulling out? <laughs> you know what you're having? Boy, I hope. I feel like men always want boys. <laughs> Mostly. Yeah, most of them. Especially if it's your first child, too. Yeah. Anyway, my guy at the way station's on board. Hey, you know how to get back, right? I'm mad blasted. All right, see you guys. Pittsburgh. What the fuck? We're supposed to be headed east. I gotta take a piss. Come on, Tony. Make it quick. It's like they're in the middle of nowhere. Right. I don't have a good feeling. I just don't have a good feeling. You see this? Looks like bikers. Wooden crates. Let's go wine. <laughs> You know they couldn't resist, right? You know they're not gonna get away without a little bit of resistance. Uh oh. Who the fuck are you guys? That's who I am. Whoa, whoa. On the ground, I'll blow your grease. Oh, they they still in too. You're fucking with the vipers here, asshole. Ooh, really? Look at What's that, you Girl Scout troop. <laughs> <laughs> get him. Oh! Oh, you bet! Oh! I hit him! I fucking hit him! <laughs> they hit They hit licks like they was in their twenties or something. Right. That was fucking awesome. No, it wasn't. Fucking old school shit. <laughs> right. That's why I said some old. <laughs> oh fuck! You okay, T? He get hit? Fucking ankle. I guess I sprained him. No. Oh. 86. Ooh, baby. What's your corkage face? <laughs> about that prick's face when he saw the gat? <laughs> BYOB. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. <laughs> Don't away with the vipers. <laughs> How's that wine? Good? <laughs> it really is. I miss it sometimes, I'll be Put honest. it back on the pallet. You should toast your wedding, at least. Uh, Discipline, that's all. Salud. Salud. <laughs> what are you doing? My cap. Are you sure he didn't get shot? No, nah, he's praying his echo trying to hop back in the car. When you think of the shit we've been through, huh? Fucking three musketeers. <laughs> we got a bond. Very special. You saved my life in a lot of ways. But you've been there for me too. There were times it was hard with me and you. You were young. <laughs> young, dumb, and on the run. You always had my back though. Like that day when I came to the house. I gotta talk to you. What's 
strong. I can't even see it. Adriana. What about her? Feds. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. How long? How fucking long? A year, I don't know. What do they know, huh? What'd she give them? I don't know. But I think a lot. Oh, Tony, how yeah. could you even think that? <laughs> Where is she? Where the fuck is she? Where is she? Please don't make me do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright. I can't. Alright. We're gonna take care of it. Alright. Oh man, I feel like I, I just couldn't bring myself to conjure up to do something. Mm. <sighs> like that. I like that. I like that they showed that scene though, because I, I always wondered like what that interaction was when he told yeah. when he told Tony. You know what I mean? I, yeah, same. Oh, that showed you the loyalty right there, loyalty or everything. Man, that Christopher. Welcome. Joan Gillespie, Pagano Realty? This is what I'm talking about. Stately Wayne Manor. <laughs> Marble baths with Kohler fixtures. Sub-Zero in the stainless steel uh, kitchen. Uh, we'll right. <laughs> oh, shouldn't we see the inside first? If it has an inside, we're buying it. <laughs> Shoot, moving on up like the Jeffersons. Dang, I wish we could just go buy a house like that. Moving on up. <laughs> Just look at it from the outside. To like, the east side. I take it. A couple of guys we know diverted a truck, a whole semi trailer full of central multivitamins. You interested? Could be distributed in uh, Long Island. It's my end. 50 50. It's got to be done now. All right. But in this case, I'm thinking we spared John the stress of having to hear about this. Hmm. Well, the situation he's in, he's got enough to deal with. You already know what that is. He probably cutting Johnny out of this one. Yeah. Dad said he's gonna meet us in the corner. Isn't that AIDS, Mom? Oh my God, she looks terrible. Who? Oh. Chris's ex, her mom. Uh oh. oh Chris, no. Christopher's ex? He's talking about Adriana, right? Adriana. I saw you're on the committee. That's so great. Carmela Soprano. How's your daughter? Fine. Well, mine is dead. Oh, my God. When? What happened? When? Your nephew. They broke up, Liz. She ran off. The FBI came to my home. You'd be amazed at the questions they asked me. Liz? They think that he killed her. Come on, Liz. You're drunk. I haven't had a drink in years. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. It's a little less cash than we talked about, but there's a bonus in there for you. It's okay if I fix? Rock out with your cock out. <laughs> I ain't heard that in a long time. I never heard that before. <laughs> you know, you really got to get yourself some help with this shit. I will. I'm gone. You know what he about to do? What? Fly right into the future. You want some? Me? Nah. Mm -mm. Guess I could toot some. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he, he backslid. Look how he looking at it like. And all the ways of war. I've been a prisoner. Oh. Ain't this about a oh. oh wow. That's about how high he is right now. The airplane. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. Man, he's nodding in and out. 
That's just pitiful. Hey, you can say that again. Dang. It Christopher. Ain't about, it ain't about four hours in the past. He's still sitting in the same spot. He better be glad Tony was gone. Uh-oh, I see smoke. I see smoke. <laughs> Where is his gold hat? <laughs> Pray for my mother, Saint Al's here. <laughs> hey, they forgot his hat. <laughs> the hat gone. <laughs> I have been debating all night whether to even say anything about this. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, Tony, like, okay. I ran into Liz LaServa at the feast. Yeah. She's got it in her head that Christopher killed Adriana. <laughs> what? That's insane. I know. Then again, he does have a history of being free with his hands. Oh, that makes him OJ. <laughs> right, let, let me school you on domestic violence, okay? First and foremost, he killed her. Believe me, with the forensics they got nowadays, the uh, fibers, we know the, about it. The fibers. <laughs> Uh, fibers? That's how a grapes come. He dumps her daughter, all of a sudden he's Scott fucking Peterson. I thought A dumped him. You know what I mean. She was a sweet girl, but the two of them together was a toxic relationship. Yeah. Pretty rough. He's focused. It's not sabotage his progress. At this point, we're just hoping he can hold it together. Right. Oh. Because his little shaky foundation. Is cracked. Hello. Paul, Dr. Cipolla. I received the results of your PSA test. And? Do you have a history of prostate cancer in your family? I don't know. No, so I'd like to go ahead and schedule you for a biopsy. No. Oh. This is lame. I want to go on an octopus. Can you stop for one minute breaking my balls? It's a kitty ride. Yeah, but you want to go on a ride with her big brother. Look, he didn't even got bigger. All right. Look how big it. <laughs> He Too big. Fit in that, <laughs> the teacup. Oh, here we go! You see that? Oh, he's too heavy. Or oh, she too heavy. Was he too was he too big for the mas he was too big for the ride, wasn't he? You are alive. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Close my eyes, I can still hear the screams. Just leave it alone, Janice. They are entitled to damages. Obviously, there was negligence. Oh, look, babe, look. My baby was on that ride, my wife. I told the guy hired me I'd have to put on a whole repair crew, work him all night. He wouldn't spring for it. Oh, Paulie? Oh, that, he did not need to hear that. That's what Paulie had to do with it. Right. <laughs> you hire some fly by night piece of shit and you don't tell nobody. Oh, Bobby, you cheap fuck. Oh. Bobby, come on. You owe me money, Paulie. I owe you shit. My wife's got nerve damage. Well, cut two. Oh. You know, Paulie, he the cheapskate. Right, but I that's the first time I've seen Bobby be that mad. Give me an espresso. Don't touch the lemon rind with your fingers. Hello, Paulie. What are you doing here? It's one of our outings. You need to make a novena, Paulie. Those poor children. Well, what are you talking about? You let St. Elzir go without his hat. Will you listen to this? Fuck that voodoo. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring you up like that. You were fake. That's how you brung me up. Fuck the two years. Hey, what's you know, up with him? Yeah, you know he not gonna let that go. Remember when they lied about? Yeah. Who was on? Who his mom was? Hey, T. You're doing a heck of a job there, Brownie. Huh? Stick with the ride. The shit with Bobby. You settle it. You settle it now. Tone, now you, you put the little kids in jeopardy in the hands of some fucking redneck? Do we need negative press? I got a lot of my mind, T. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like what? I had a biopsy. 
I might have prostate cancer. Well, it's a biopsy, right? Nine times out of ten, these things come back clean. I don't know. Don't walk yourself up into a state like you do. Hmm? I've been having headaches. I'm afraid maybe the thing may have stastasized. You don't know shit yet. It's a biopsy. Get a grip. You're right, T. Walk something out with Bobby, huh? <laughs> oh, look, he calls an attorney. You know something like that to keep you up all night. <laughs> He seemed like the type that'll worry. Yeah. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Was that the Virgin Mary? Polly tripping. He is bugging out. Look at him. Last day already. God, it goes fast. What's the matter, baby? <laughs> Look at the ride. After all this, she wants to go back on that ride. Show everybody how you can walk. Oh. <laughs> I think she want to get on the ride. Oh. Uncle Tony. <laughs> I'd like to play for you the Johnny Oslo Shadish. It's a typical Norwegian. Wooly, I don't want to argue. You want some cookies? What's wrong with him? Did he get some bad news from the doctor? Or? I don't know. <clears throat> I think he. I think he's just worrying himself. Yeah. Like you said, he is the type to worry. And maybe he miss her too. Uh huh. You know, he probably feel like he needs somebody right now. That too, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, you know, Polly. It's, it's slowly, like, I don't know, in my mind, I just feel like he's slowly, like, putting himself outside of the circle. You think so? It just feels like, like, how they're, like, portraying his character now. It just seems like he's slowly pushing himself further and further away from, like, the circle that Tony has. You mm -hmm. know how, like, like close and tight-knit they are just in terms of family, like, when they have their whole gathering thing and... You know, that's that sort of thing. Like, even with Bobby, you see how Bobby is. And Bobby, did, like, Bobby don't have no beef with yeah, anybody. Yeah, he probably, he probably like the teddy bear out of the whole crew. <laughs> out of everybody, yeah. So I, I just feel like, even just going back, like, if you think, like, you know, Polly was talking the, the mess about Tony, like, he, how he was being messy when he was locked up, you know, with his mom and stuff like that. I just feel like, I don't know. I just have, like, a really strange odd feeling mm -hmm. in, in my spirit about something happening to Polly. Like, and yeah, remember maybe. that guy. This just popped in my head, too, while I was sitting here watching this. Remember when they were out there in the middle of nowhere, him and Christopher, and it, because they were chasing that guy? The Russian guy, yeah. Yeah, and he ended up getting away. Mm -hmm. I just have a feeling that that guy is not gone. <laughs> like, he's not, his part is not done yet. It's like you see like the Jekyll and Hyde, I guess you can say, with Christopher, where it's like he's doing the right thing, he's doing good, but at the same time, he's still got like the little devil on his shoulder that always like brings him back to like his addiction. Yeah. And I think it started with that little glass of wine that they had after they jacked those bottles. My thing with Christopher, I'm just hoping that he can just hold it together because it seems like everything is on the up and up with him. Yeah. So we're about to see, yeah, you yeah. know. Okay. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping everything stay on the up and up with Christopher. The federal prosecutors and myself have been told to clear our calendars. So trial is upon us. The feds have reached a complete accounting of your worth. The vintage world, sir? They go through my fucking sock drawer? Maserati, Ginny's Yukon, and the house and its contents valued at a million two. Is this all part of your plan, Ron? Make me so fucking depressed that I hang myself? It's my obligation to raise the idea again of cooperating. Oh! Let me explain something to you again, Ron. 
Uh-oh. Being a rat, where I'm coming from, that's like asking a person where you're coming from to become a fucking Nazi. I don't want to hear that shit again. Uh. Yeah, he's not going to turn. He said, if I got to go down with the ship, I'm going down with the ship. Right. What happened to my stuffed pork line? I ordered it special. You had him send it up to Carmela? You get what you pay for. I don't know why you just can't admit that you blame us that you got shot. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have only myself to blame. You don't blame me for the shooting? Well, you fucking blame me for something. Yeah, the baby. You punish Bobby because he's my husband. Will you stop, huh? To be his age and not to be a captain. Hmm. Oh, now I see what this little visit's all about. He works so hard for you. And what does he get? Merciless ridicule about his weight, about his model railroading. He's a grown man! I don't know where it comes from. All your anger, your hate for me. I cried for you. I sat with you. You think she was there really about, about Bobby trying to be a captain? Yeah. Happy birthday! Jenny, that kitchen, this room, the light. Mm, I should. Hey, it's your birthday. <laughs> you know she's trying to watch her weight now. She's a weight watcher. Right. It reminds me of the Palladian villas I saw in Italy. Thank you. Sometimes I forget. Dinner was good. Joe action. Hey, you know what? Let's do a race. The Polar Express one. You're like, Dad, I'm a little too old for this. So he got his conductor hat on and everything. Bobby can't be the captain with the conductor hat on. No. <laughs> no. Hey, he living out a childhood dream right now. I can't take him serious. Tony, I've been very patient with you because you've been sick. You were going to talk to the building inspector, my spec house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent uh, little Paulie, the inspector. He's a piece of work. Next, I'll get chill on it. You gotta pay a visit to the Montville Building Department. To what end? I promise it calm, I'd lean on this inspector and completely went out of my head. Janice Sack's brother, Anthony. Johnny's a silent partner in this heavy equipment leasing thing in New Orleans. Good. On account of John's liquidity problems, he'd love you to contact the owners and uh, turn it into cash. Me? Says Phil Leotardo shouldn't be involved. Mm. And obviously there's a finder's fee. You know, there always got to be a finder's fee now. Right. You know, we're not going to do nothing for free around here at all. Period. A, a finder's fee. <clears throat> right. My early? What do you mean? Dinner. I am interviewing a new contractor for my spec. What, she coming here now? I picked up a couple sandwiches from uh, Italianissimo. I like that she has these little projects and uh, charities, what have you. But uh, even in bed, she's a million miles away. It sounds like you want to encourage her with this house, as long as it doesn't interfere with your life. Fucking Janice came to visit me at work. That doesn't happen often. Anyway, she was all upset. She said that uh, I was mean to her and her husband. What did you say? Well, it doesn't matter, because she's right. I love it when I can take a shit on her and her husband. You two have never really gotten along. Uh, with every man for himself. And I remember one time my parents left her in charge. And, well, she stood in the hallway and she tape recorded me and Bob having a fight. And she held that cassette tape over my head for a month. Fucking extortions. Did she do that to Barbara too? Well, that's not the fucking point. You still don't understand what it means to tape somebody in my family? Listen, as far as that thing goes, the coffee with the chicory. The fuck is that? Oh, shit. I suck at talking like this, John. I'm sorry. Lame in turn, please. A-S. Yeah, all right. Just say the thing I asked you to do. Are you going to get it for me? 
Yes. Bad news is that he wants ten cups for himself. <clears throat> All right. Done. Did you pick up the birthday cake for gin and the marzipan flowers? The stuff behind the pool? No, an actual fucking cake. <laughs> Hey, not used to talking in code like that. <laughs> no, I mean the actual cake. At all. Fool. At this point, <laughs> at this point, Johnny Sack, he got to do whatever he got to do to make some money. So if he got to give Tony 10, you got to do what you got to do. Okay. Good week. Even with the fucking dolphins. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Get a <it>, joint. <laughs> You know who the fuck I am? Oh. Oh. Come about the bookie? You a winner or a loser? You're making a big mistake. Oh. Oh. Damn. Three G's? Uh. Please don't, I got kids. <laughs> do them, do them now. Jesus, no. Please, please. Oh, my. Oh. Here with a ricochet. Hopefully, he's gonna be all right. Heard about Bobby Bacala? Yeah, my sister called with the uh, breaking news. That fucking part of Newark? Even the cops don't go there no more. Uh, so, you heard everything? Doctor said the slug blew bits of sidewalk into the eye there. Oh. What, uh, whatever the fuck happened to you with the uh, prostate? Well, actually, T, I've been dealing with some shit. Cancer, tell you the truth. Oh. What the fuck, Paulie? It was early. Maybe I caught a break. Taking a course of radiation. What, you all right? The hair and shit? <laughs> Not good, huh? Must have done good things in my life. Oh, well, you know, the prostate ain't nothing to play with. Is he being truthful, though? Why, why wouldn't he be? Because some kind of way, you know, Tony gonna look out for him. Bobby's vision's fucked now. He could be a candidate for a cornea transplant. Damn. He could be a candidate for a brain transplant. To his credit, all he was thinking about was straightening out for the week. That's messed up. Fuck that honor and loyalty shit. It was a maneuver, Carlo. Because he knew it was his own fucking fault. What? Don't give me that look. Jesus Christ, it's one thing after another with her family. You mean the bad luck? I don't know, but fucking Janice attracts drama. She creams over the misery. Does she remind you of anyone? <laughs> Yeah. Don't say when we were name. growing up, she she had something, you know. She had beautiful hair, and she was built. And... <laughs> Guys, your age, you're always kissing my ass to get and go with her. Sounds a little like jealousy. No guy wants his sister to be the town pump. You weren't sexually threatened. Oh Jesus Christ! First it's my mother, now I want to fuck my sister. It's normal, not sick. What? Oh Jesus Christ! You describe her as built. Uh. That was. Uh. What happened between then and now? Normal. She fought it out with my mother and finally took off. What if you had taken off? Well, that never would have happened. I did what I was told. Your father's son and all that went with it. Well, the success and the money. What else did you inherit? I'll tell you what I inherited. Uh oh. My mother. Janice got laid. She took off. Then the trip's over, and she's back, and she's one of us, and she wants her peace. Well, let me tell you, she gets nothing, because I got the scars. Mm. So it's mine. Ooh. The whole light bulb done went off now. Yeah. Especially with, with his relationship with Janice now. Now you see why he acts the yeah. way he does with her. It's deep-rooted. Yeah. So I wonder if, like, he's, he hates her for that. I think so. Resentment, for sure. Yeah. Thought I'd make a little dinner, like we do back home. Pasta badan, real peasant food. We got a little zalad, then pork chops and vinegar peppers. <laughs> you gotta wait for that. What? Nothing. I just realized. Vincent, I love you. Oh! I love you, Johnny Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Johnny Cakes. Oh, uh, Vito, he not going nowhere now. He making dinner. Oh, he not going anywhere. Where he at in New Hampshire, Delaware? So he out there somewhere. <laughs> Hour and a half, lunch. The halfway fucking point. Don't look at your watch. Not yet. 
Ten to eleven. Maybe five of. Don't look. Think of those sandwiches Jim made. He not used to having to work. Eleven thirty. Has to be. Look at the angle of the sun. Maybe even a quarter to twelve. Okay. Look. Now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it ain't even ten. <laughs> oh. He said eleven thirty. But I know how that is though. Oh, uh, we all do. Been at work and doing your best not to look at the time or anything. Vincent. Oh, no. He gone. Why, though? Sure. The job? I'm tired of working. <laughs> <laughs> like doing real work. They're going to recommend 15 years and 4.1 million. Ooh, that's going to hit you right in the heart. Or go to trial. Do I have to do the allocution? You know the allocution is always part of it. Practically the whole point. What is allocution? Oh, no. I'll take it. <sighs> allocution. Wow. I'll state my case. Of which I'm... Look, now he driving, drinking, and crying at the same time. Oh, he's going back to Jersey. No mocha mix? I was looking forward to fresh blueberries this morning, but mom hasn't shopped. He better be careful going back to Jersey. What are you doing hanging around here? He doesn't fucking get it. I don't even know what he's thinking lately. He spends more time at Jeffrey's apartment than with me. You know it's really good to talk to about stuff? Your mother. I've seen such a selfish side. <laughs> And Meadow actually looks like she's, like, really grown in this scene right now. When you're living in shit with some guy, you can't expect living him to... Living in what? Jesus Christ. She's not trying to hear that part. No. <laughs> at all. Talk to your mother about this shit. <laughs> you know, I can't you deal with that. that guy at the building department yet? I was going to go on Friday when the schedules are looser. Well, don't. No hit and run today, baby. You're gonna have to eat this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm really sorry. I, I was in a rush. Let me get the damages here, and I'll be on my way. Uh, we should file a police report. No, seriously. What do you say, 500 bucks? Uh -huh. Five, 5,000? My place is just up the drive there. We'll call the police. They'll come right out. It's getting a little hairy. Let me get my registration. Uh-oh. Not the registration. Oh, look. Uh-oh. There! Oh, my God. Execution style. It still ain't like he can just drive off, though. Oh. Uh, I'm surprised the car still worked, though. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't leave the license plate. Hey, boy, that Cadillac built Ford <laughs> Tough, right? I'm just coming to see you. And she said I haven't heard from you. It's going to be too much effort. But John was really counting on us. And Ginny needs the money. Why? He changed the terms. What, a bigger piece for his fat mouth? No, smaller, but it's the house. He wants you to unload it to his sister at a reduced price. The house? I guess beggars can't be choosers. And the worst part is, I gotta sell the idea to Ginny somehow. Shoot, Tony got him by the... At this moment. I don't want to pester you. Did Sil make a visit? Yeah, I meant to tell you, um, he didn't have any luck with that inspector. Really? You're kidding. Sorry about that. S so that's it? You you just give up? Well, look, the guy said no. Wow. How far you want to push this thing? Oh, those sons of bitches. And they let people build those fucking monstrosities! 
Why does Carmela's voice sound like a cartoon character sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Why not put a runner here? It could cut down on the echo. Damn, look. Warm it up. You tell that's weighing on her heavy. Were you employed by or associated with the New York faction of an organized crime family of La Cosa Nostra? Yes. Sacrimony allocuted in federal court, admitting at least a 10-year connection. Fucking nauseating. Could have been worse. He could have flipped. You don't ever admit the existence of this thing. He should have stood trial like a man. Should he go to trial? He get 2025. Man, I'm getting up there. I'm telling every day. Get that. <laughs> Give me two years and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you're not built for that kind of life. Right there. Uh oh, is he back in Jersey now? Oh, he back in Jersey. And look where he at. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. No one's ever done something so. It's okay, Janice. Hey, honey, you got the wine? We're almost ready. What happened? Jen, what's the matter? What happened? She's happy. About the house. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was her. Oh, in there looking that. at the house while Johnny's wife was sitting there. That's why Johnny Sacrimony's wife was looking like that. I forgot. I forgot about that. Well, I would think that was so shady. How are you my friend and you buy the house of that under kinda I mean, kinda undercut him with yeah. that with the house? Oh, <laughs> I mean, but at the end of the day... That's exactly what she did. I know, but at the end of the day, Johnny Sack, his wife, as far as his assets getting frozen, like, he need the bread. Like, he need the money at the end of the day, especially the way that they kind of, like, kind of pinched him and, and how they froze his assets. Yeah, and but just I think about like 15 she... years, that's not enough money. He doesn't have enough money to help for his wife to continue to live the lifestyle that she's living. No, but she's supposed to be the friend. Like, she was over there <laughs> breaking bread with her and everything. How you gonna come in here and buy my house when you know what I'm going through and you're supposed to be my friend and you're the one in here trying to sell it for half the price? <laughs> for <laughs> half of the value or whatever it is. That's true, but I, I just feel like... I just it, feel like I would feel some type of way. That too... I, so hey, it's messed up, but it, she can she she completely is okay. I'm I'm clearly okay with her feeling the way that she do because I mean that's just genuine feelings. I mean having a home like that and then somebody trying to undercut you and get you out of there. But the way that I see it is like it doesn't even really matter. I mean like right now they just taking the full advantage of of the whole situation right now. Which I feel like if the shoe was on the other fit on the other foot, they would be doing the exact same thing if Tony got pinched like that by the feds. I don't know. Yeah, I guess because Johnny, Johnny, come on now, Johnny, Johnny seems like he the type like that too. He probably would be like, "Yeah, Carmela, how much is this house? How he much, will figure out how a much way. can I give it to you for?" Right, he will figure out. <laughs> he will figure out a way. But damn, Johnny Sachs, he going down for like fifteen years. Yeah, which I mean, it's better than twenty. But for the simple fact that he had to go there and stand trial, he went. In, well, he didn't stand trial. He went ahead and played guilty, and then he had to stand up there and pretty much admit to like being part of like a crime organization. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, as far as everybody else, it still kind of looks like him being a boss. Like he didn't really like go all the way with it. Like he didn't. Like he wouldn't stand up. He didn't most people, completely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because no. he told it, okay? That's what I'm saying. He told it, but he didn't admit to anything. That's what the allocution is, basically. And at the end of the day, it's almost like you're not really standing all the way tall. Because most of them is like, no, we're taking it all the way to trial. We're not admitting to anything. You're just going to have to find us guilty. So sometimes, they, they sometimes like especially like in organized crime, they see that as like being weak by pleading out. But like I said, if, if, if the shoe was on the other foot and they were pinched like that and they was in that situation... That's like a very, very tough situation to have to like deal with. But like I said, it's like it's like you know the ball game that you're playing in. You know, high risk, high yeah, reward. But fifteen years is not like no walk That's in the park. That's not a walk in the park being as old as he is. Yeah. You no, know? not at all. That yeah. So like I said, he was a rock in a hard place at the end of the day. Yeah. And now that Vito, now he back in Jersey. He passed by Satriales. Like he like he back on 
you know, in his old stomping ground. Yeah. So at this moment, I'm like, if he gets spotted, if he gets seen by anybody, like, I don't know how that's going to go. Yeah, because he been gone. Mm -hmm. Like, he gone. He was gone, gone. And I feel like he, you know, you know, with him running, running off and running away, now I guess, like, the reality set in as far as, like, now you got to, like, change your whole lifestyle. You got to, like, have an honest living, work every day. Yeah. And like you said, he not built for that construction because he wasn't even doing construction anyways. When, you saw what he was doing. That's the when reason they why was he at left. The, when they was at the site, he was sitting there in a lawn chair with a fan. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's his definition of work. He not used to working, working. Like, he doing actual labor. That's not what he used to doing. At all. That's not his lifestyle. He like, I'm not made for this. I'm not built for this. Okay, neat. And... and and nor am I about to build it. Okay, mm-hmm. forget it. <laughs> Period. At the end of the I'm day. I'm not doing none of that. Period. Just saying. But like I said, I feel like Sopranos, like I feel like it's just a phenomenal series because still, you know, still I like the fact that, you know, Tony, he, you know, just, just seeing like the dichotomy where he has to like talk to a psychiatrist about a lot of his problems, mm-hmm. still being a boss, still running like a, a crime organization. You know, that's what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? But... I just like how how they like write this entire like series and how it just plays out. Um, but I mean, how many more episodes we got? I uh, uh, think like because I think this one has like almost like twenty episodes. I think there's like twelve more left. Okay, because I'm like, what what's going on with AJ? These last two episodes, we hadn't heard nothing about AJ. You hadn't even seen him, so maybe he went into one of those programs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't Maybe know. Put him Good somewhere. question. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen him. Mm-mm. Okay, well, y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. Peace and blessings. Y'all yeah, take y'all. it easy, man. Bye.